I met Kathy and we went to the Bali hunting for carvings and sculpture stuff for her store in Santa Monica. And I just sort of landed there and started teaching drums again because I'd given up on the film industry too. It was like, I was, you know, don't quit, you're a vice president, you know. I said, no, I, I heard those tapes and I'm just miserable being in this office every day. I'm sorry. So I just left. And so Kathy made the great suggestion that I uh, do something of use. <laughs> Be useful. I think what we're trying to get to survive the era of the drum machine and reconnect the groove to our heart. So everybody's got their own way of dealing with it. So these are just signals that I've, you know, discovered or sh people shown me that lead you into an integrated self, you know, without anger uh, and without uh, fear and as a necessity because you have to be healthy and otherwise, you know, you get sick, you hold on to that stuff. So I feel real healthy. So that's one sign that I must be, like, doing part of it right. Miami always had this incredible, you know, talent pool. And I fed off of it. And I constantly refer to that experience when I'm somewhere else. Like going down to Little Havana when I was 1920, 19 or 20, 21, long hair, big sideburns, and, you know, getting harassed, <laughs> you know. Like, yeah, 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 they called me commie and a lot of things you can't say on television. But I was there for the drum, and that was always what was respected. That's why I'm still walking around. <laughs> Come on in here. We need some dancers and body movement. You walk with the light or your inspiration or what you believe in, whatever it is. The groove is, a, is a, just an analogy for that, a correctness. I like the I Ching. Uh, the Book of Changes is great for drum analogies uh, where your balance, repetition, uh, stability, um, appropriate action, very Zen, very martial arts, but not aggressive, like Aikido where there's an uh, understanding of uh, <clears throat> energy vectors between people on a scientific, mechanical. What I wanted was a healing process that was mechanical, that didn't have the metaphysics as a basic foundation for us. If you, you have to many times believe that the, the metaphysical healing process will work before it works. And I, I don't have a problem with that. I just wanted to be more pragmatic and say, let's have a process that works mechanically despite or outside of philosophy or religion. something Because I sensed that rhythm had an innate healing quality to it that was almost mathematical. The way our, uh, the way our body responded to rhythm was so precise that these traditional cultures would have specific names for the healing groove at a certain tempo, certain combination. The feel had to be right. And that's what was the hard point for our culture, is to lay back enough to get to the healing flow of that life force that's in the group. Because we're all you know, really pushing, because that's just the way culture is.